A 75-year-old man from Kerala's capital Tiruvananthapuram was recently diagnosed with murine typhus after travelling to Vietnam and Cambodia. Murine typhus is a flea-borne bacterial disease caused by rickettsia typhi, transmitted through infected flea bites primarily from rodents and not contagious between humans. So basically, it's a tropical infection, uh, just like our dengue fever, uh, malaria, and uh, scrap typhus. It's uh, uh, transmitted by a flea uh, called rat flea. The importance is not very common in our area, but it is common disease in the areas where my patient uh, traveled. He he traveled uh, Cambodia, Malaysia, Vietnam, Indonesia, some three, four countries he visited and uh, around 10 days travel. And uh, after coming back from that area, he, he started fever. Murine typhus symptoms appear 3 to 14 days post-exposure and include fever, chills, headaches and rashes. Patients may experience nausea, vomiting and body aches. While symptoms are usually mild, untreated cases can lead to severe illness. Proper diagnosis and realisation of the symptoms. Uh, sometimes the patients can get, it's very commonly fever, headache, myalgia, but there can be hepatorenal, like patients can get uh, renal failure, there can be hepatitis or so yellowish, discoloration of the eyes, jaundice, sometimes lung infections, uh, pneumonia-like presentation, sometimes altered sensorium. That is, the patient can have deterioration in the conscious level, which can confuse it with the other causes of meningoencephalitis. Murine typhus is rarely fatal, with an untreated mortality rate up to 4%. Severe complications like pneumonia, meningitis, septic shock and kidney injury can occur. Neurological issues such as memory impairment are usually reversible. Prevention focuses on avoiding flea exposure and pet hygiene. Currently, there is no vaccine for this virus. However, early doxycycline treatment is effective and crucial to prevent complications.